Good morning. All right, so we are coming to the end of the week, and we have a call today at noon, but today I wanted to come on and give some tough love um, as I reflect on my goals and think about previous groups that I've been in. And something that I've learned through all of these previous groups is that only about a third of you in this group are going to finish the program. The other two thirds, you're going to let life get in the way. Whether it be your kids or Easter or Mother's Day, dance, soccer, running those kids to different events, if you work full time. But you've got to fight for what you want. You've got to make time for yourself. I get it. I understand. It's a challenge. And working long hours and then having all the stress is not easy. You have got to fight when you want to walk into the pantry and reach for the candy or reach for the goldfish or the granola bars or the things that you know you shouldn't eat. You've got to think about why you started and why you invested in yourself um, to be here. I don't have a magic pill. I can't come into your house and stand in front of your pantry or your closet or your refrigerator and tell you not to open it. I can't give you something that's just going to magically make you have results tomorrow. If I could, I'd be a millionaire. Um, so we have to do the hard work. We have to get into our heads, our goals, and have a way when you want to walk into that pantry, have something in your mind that turns you around and takes you back out or keeps you from reaching for that thing. I know I had it last night. I walked into the pantry. I was hungry. I had a headache. I hadn't eaten a completely... Uh, a complete meal. I didn't have a bad meal, but it wasn't complete. I was running Courtney back and forth to dance, and I went to Wendy's to get her dinner, and I got myself an avocado salad, and it wasn't bad. It was a good size. It was only a half salad, and it was overpriced, um, but it had tomatoes and just a little bit of cheese, a little bit of bacon, um, avocado, and just a little bit of chicken, which was my issue. I didn't have enough meat. I needed more protein. It probably would have filled a fourth of the red container. And so by the time I got home, I had a headache because I knew I hadn't eaten enough and I was tired. So I had, I pulled out some more Shakeology, made it into some pudding, added a little peanut butter, put it in the refrigerator, went and washed my face, sat on the couch, talked to Matt, Instead of getting the gummy bears that I wanted in the pantry, instead of grabbing chips and salsa, um, and I had the Shakeology. Yeah, my head still hurt, and I didn't completely get over that, but by then it was time for bed anyway. So I went to bed knowing that I made a better choice of having that extra Shakeology and nutrition and protein than having candy and just wasted calories. So we have to get those thoughts. And what I thought about was, what will I have to write down in my tracker? What will I tell people that I had? Think about why you're doing it. Your why isn't the same as mine. You're not gonna have the same reasons and that's okay. But whatever your why is, keep that in your mind. Focus on that vision of where you want to be. Maybe what you want to look like at the pool this summer. How you want to feel with your energy of keeping up with your kids. Getting out of the chair at the pool and doing activities in the pool or on the soccer field. Think about your end results and where you want to eat to be. And stop stress eating. I know, like I said, it's hard. Um... But we have to do the work. You took the investment for yourself. You paid for the toolkit. So let's use it. Pull out this book. Turn to page two. And if you haven't already, fill out your goals. What are your goals for this 
ultimate portion fix. I want to show you and other busy women that we can make time for ourselves. We can achieve our goals. I want to eat healthier foods to fuel my body with energy and exercise so I can spend more quality time with my family and my friends. I want to live healthier and happier and be a great example for my kids. Now there are going to be roadblocks and there are going to be obstacles. Um, there are holidays. Your family is not going to want to try new things. I've got a busy schedule. Um, letting myself buy candy and food that I know I shouldn't. Having the Easter candy, but I've got it hidden in that closet behind me here that's hard to get to. Not in the pantry where I know that I'll grab it. And I will put it out and then I'll give it to the kids and it'll be theirs. It won't be mine to eat. Um, and I think about... Um, having to do the things that I like and in the ways that I want to do them. What do you need to let go to reach those goals? I need to stop comparing myself to others. I need to stop worrying about what others will think. And I know need to know that I don't need to be perfect. It is just a progress. Read these things each day. <clears throat> the next one, what do you need more in your life? I need more time, more money, more energy, more positivity, more encouragement, and I really like recognition. Um, and who's going to help you achieve these goals? Think about who you can ask to send you a text each day to make sure you did your workout. Who, you know, checking into this group, you know, tell yourself, I'm going to read it, I'm going to comment on it, you know, Ashley's going to see it, I've got to put my um, I've got to check in each day so that I can achieve the goals and I have to do the work in order to check in how are you gonna feel when you reach those goals think about the excitement the joy the fulfillment the energy that you'll have when you reach those goals so pull out this notebook fill in page two and three and Say to yourself each day, read these each day, and know your goals. So go right now, look in the mirror, and face what's been limiting you. Reverse that message, and then tell somebody. You know, it's a choice. It's a choice for you to first make this investment. You've already done that. Now it's your choice to write down your goals, read them each day, and do the hard work. Again, it's not easy, but when you get to that goal, you will feel that excitement and that joy, and then you will want to pass it on to other people, and you will want to keep going, and you will be happy that you did the hard work. So let's do it. Let's talk about it today more at noon, and let's reach the goals. I don't want you to be in that two-thirds that don't finish it. I don't want there to be a two-thirds. I want everybody in this group to finish the program. So I'm going to go and do my workout and then I'm going to check in with the group and then I'll be on the Zoom call today at noon and I can't wait to hear from you then. Have a great day.